I don't want to graph using my intercepts. I want to graph using y equals mx plus b, right? So what I mean, I just said y equals mx plus b. That is an equation of the line. Last one I told you was uh, slope inter or standard form, right? Here's the other equation line, where m is your slope, right, and b is your y-intercept. So what it means is if I can put this equation into that format, I'll show you I can graph it by using the slope and the y-intercept. So what I need to do is I need to transform this. Well, you can see this graph, or I'm sorry, this equation, I have y by itself. So remember when we did linear or literal equations? We got the variable by itself. That's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to add the 5x to the other side. Okay, so I have 2y equals 10 plus 5x. However, I want to write it in this format. So I'm going to put the 5x in front of the 10. Okay, commutative property of addition. Just switch them around. Now I need to get rid of the 2. So the sense of 2 is being multiplied by the y, I divide by 2. Now remember, I'm dividing this 2 divided by both of these terms, right? So rather than writing 5x plus 10 divided by 2, I want it to look like this. So I'm going to say 5x divided by 2, which would be 5 halves times x, and 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Does that make sense? OK. Um, and just think about it. Think about it this way. x divided by 2 is equal to 1 half x. All right. 8 divided by 2 is the same thing as 1 half times 8. So that's why I wrote the fraction in front. So now you can see this is, um, now you can see it's in that format, right? So I go to graph and my lovely x and y axis. So remember your y-intercept, that's like your kind of start. So you can go to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you make a nice big dot. Okay, And label it. That's your y-intercept right there, y-intercept. Then your slope tells you to go up another 5 or and to the right 2, right? Because 5 over 2, it's rise over run. Since your rise is positive, it tells you to go up. Since your run is positive, it tells you to go to the right. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. So it's going to be roughly somewhere right around there. right? Now, however, you can also do the opposite. Instead of going up 5 to the right 2, you could also go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to the left 2. And you'll have a graph that's going to look something like that. And you can see it's the exact same thing, right? So really, the difference kind of depends on your strength. Are you what you kind of understand?